four happy days in our movie. But old me thinks how slow this old movie may She lingers my desire. Four beds will quickly escape myself tonight. Four nights will quickly dream away the time. And now the moon makes a silver glow leap back in heaven. Shall we pull the night out of the sun? Happy day, Theseus, our renowned Duke. Thanks, Theseus. What's the news with thee? Full of vexation, come I with a complaint against my daughter, my child, Hermia. Send forth Demetrius, and my noble lord, this <laughs> man hath had him to marry her. Send forth Lysander, and my great Duke, this man hath be put to the bosom of my child. Thou, thou, Lysander, thou hast given her rhymes and entertained love tokens with my child. Thou hast by moonlight out of the window sung with fading wood, first a fading love, and stolen the impression of her fancy. With cunning hast thou filled her daughter's heart, and her her obedience, which was due to me. Be it so, she will not hear before your grace. Consent to marry with Demetrius. As she is mine, I may dispose of her, which will either be to this gentleman, to her death, according to our law, immediately file that case. What say you, Romeo? <laughs> to you, your father should be a god. Demetrius is a worthy gentleman. So is Lysander. I would my father look with my eyes. Rather, your eyes must with his judgment look. And I beseech your grace that I may know the worst that may befall me in this case if I refuse to wed Demetrius. Either to die to death or to endure forever the society of men. Well, live, sweet Hermia. Why, Sandra, you'll like praise title to my certain right. You have her father's love, Beatrice. Let me have Hermia's. To marry him, scornful Lysander. Truly, he hath no love and what is mine, my love shall render him. And she is mine, and all my right to her, I do in state unto Demetrius. I am my lord, as well as right as he, as well possessed. My love is more than his. My fortune's every way a spirit rent. Demetrius, I will vouch to his head. Made love to meet his daughter Helena, and won her soul. And she, sweet lady, dotes, devoutly dotes, dotes in idolatry <laughs> upon this spot and upon this man. I must confess, <laughs> I have heard so much. <laughs> <laughs> and with the Demetrius, not the spoke thereof. But being a workful of self affairs, my mind did lose it. But come, Demetrius, and come, Demetrius. I have some private school for you both. Come on, Hippolyta. What cheer, my love? Come now, my love. Why is the cheek so pale? How chance the rope there do fade so fast? The light for the want of the rain, which I could well. Fatigue that from the tempest of mine eye. I need, for all that could ever read, could ever hear by tale or history, the course of true love never did run smooth. If then she love her to have a good cross, it stands that the phoenix and destiny. Then let us teach our child patience, because it is a customary cross, as do love as thoughts and dreams and sighs, wishes and tears, for fancy swallower. A good persuasion is for hearing Julia. I have a widow aunt, a dowager of great revenue, and she hath no child. From Athens is her house remote seven leagues, and she respects me as her only son. There, gentle Hermia, may I marry thee? Mm -hmm. And to that place the sharp and the law cannot pursue us. If thou lookest me then, Steal forth my father's house tomorrow night, and in the wood, a league without a town, there will I seek to be. My good Lysander, I swear to thee by Jupiter's strongest bow, in that same place thou hast appointed me, tomorrow truly will I be with thee. He comes, love. Look, he comes, Helena. God be there, Helena, <laughs> with her away. Call me fair, that fair I didn't say. Demetrius loves your fair, oh happy fair. Oh, teach me how you look, and with what art, used with emotion of Demetrius' heart. I frown upon him, yet he loves me still. Oh, that you frown, teach my smile such skill. I give him curses, yet he gives me love. Oh, that my prayers could such affection move. The more I hate, the more he follows me. The more I love, the more he hates me. His folly, Helena, is not fault of mine. None of your beauty with a fault were mine. Take comfort, he no more shall see my face. Lysander and myself will fly this place. For the time I did Lysander see, seemed Athens was a paradise to me. Oh, then, what graces in my love do dwell, that he has turned a heaven into hell. Helen, to you are mine and will unfold. The time of lovers my soul so concealed, through Athens gave the device to steal. And thence from Athens turn away our eyes, to seek new friends and stranger companies. Farewell, sweet Plato. Pray thou for us. And good luck for Auntie Demetrius. Keep word, Lysander. We must starve our sight from lovers' food tomorrow, 
pray you, if it be, give it me. For I'm close to that. <laughs> we do it extend forward, but it's not like a roaring. Let's me play the line too. <laughs> 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 Once this juice, I watched Titania when she is asleep and dropped the liquor of it in her eyes. 
The next thing she waking looks upon, be it wolf or bear, a meddling monkey or an unbusy ape, she shall pursue it with the soul of love. But who comes here? I am invisible, and I will overhear their conference. I love thee not, therefore pursue me not. Where is Lysander and fair Hermia? The one I'll slay, the other slay me. Hence, get thee gone and follow me no more. You draw me hard, my own. Because I, my heart is true as steel. Do I entice you? Do I speak you fair? Rather I tell the plain truth. I do not or cannot love you. <laughs> I love you more. Tis but the hatred of my spirit. I'm sick when I look on thee. Sick, but I will be off from you. I'll run from thee and hide from thee in the great and leave thee to the mercy of the wild beast. Fly, Dimitri! The wrong to the skin of my Be not fight for us as men may do. And we're not made to woo. I'll follow me and make a heaven out of hell to die upon the hand I love so well. Fare thee well, Nim. Ere you do leave this girl, thou shalt climb, and we shall seek thy love. Ha ha ha! Hast thou a flower there? Welcome, wanderer. I pray thee, give it me. <laughs> <laughs> Thy nun. Knights, silence. <laughs> <laughs> 
churl upon thy eyes I throw, all the power this charm doth owe. So, awake when I'm gone, for it's not over on me. Stay, though thou kill me, sweet Demetrius! <laughs> I charge thee hence, and you're a haunt me gone. Oh, wilt thou darkly leave me? Do not so! Stay on my peril, I will go alone! <laughs> oh, I'm out of breath in this fawn chase. The more my prayers, the lesser is my grace. But who is here? Lysander? On the ground? Dead? Or asleep? I see no blood, no wound. Lysander, if you live, could serve the way. Come 
Ryan's neck. And there indeed may we name his name and, ha and play tell him plainly that he has snug the joint. Well, it shall be so. But there's two more things. That is, bring moonlight into your chamber, for you know, pure Mississippi meet by moonlight. And soft the moonshine that night we play our play? Yes, and soft shine that night. Why don't we now leave a casement on the great chamber window? Where we play open, and the moon may shine in after that case. Aye. Or else, <laughs> one must come in with a bunch of thorns and a lanthorn and see if he comes to his figure or to present the person in time. Then, there's another thing. We must have a wall in the great chamber, for here Mrs. Sissy says the story of talking to chink in the wall. <laughs> you can never bring in a wall. What say you, Bottom? Some man! or other, must present <laughs> wall. Let him have some plaster or some loam or rough cast about him to signify wall. And let him hold his fingers thus, and through that cranny shall Pyramus and Thisbe whisper. If that may be, then all is well. Come sit down on your mother's son and rehearse your part. Pyramus, you begin. When you spoke in your speech, enter into that break until everyone according to his view. Ah, <laughs> 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 what tempted home spuns have we swaggered here? So near the cradle of the fairy queen. What a place for it. I'll be an honor. That's a too perhaps fussy cause. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm the first few to say, nay, to swear, I love thee. Three things, my sister. You see that little ring of that. And yet, to say the truth, rich men love keep little company together nowadays. Thou art as wise as thou art beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Not so, neither. But if I had wit enough to get out of this wood, I have enough to serve my own turn. Out of this wood do not desire to go. Thou shalt remain here, whether thou wilt or not. <laughs> and I, sh I do love thee, and therefore go with me, and, and I shall do see fairies to attend on thee, and they shall fetch thee <laughs> animals. <laughs> and the and sing, full of pressed flowers thou dost sleep, peas blossom, cobweb, moss and mustard seeds, dew drops and dew
Steal me while. For my own company. <laughs> <laughs>
Who are the two players? Mark <laughs> and Amanda work in Athens here. And I will hear it. <laughs> <laughs> no one, oh Lord, it is not for you. I have heard no more. There's nothing, nothing in the world. I will hear that play. <laughs> <laughs>
thought to myself, but now I'm totally fine. <laughs> 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 I mean, I'm the best of the best. You can never be me. Although your chasing was annoying and your swimming was too. You can't wear the pass of the dusty horseshoe. Well, come on. <laughs> the pass of the battle. Well, I was thrown with a pen that my mind was kept. You know who put the spell on me? It was your boy, Pop. He screwed me over. That little fairy sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.